This gold-mounted pearl earring was worn by King Charles I at his execution on the 30th of January, 1649. It is quite incredible that this was actually hanging from Charles's ear when the blade severed his head from his body. And now I'm holding it myself. Then we have this golden toothpick with the case which was given to Colonel Matthew Tomlinson, the parliamentarian guard, on the night of the King's execution. And it was recorded that that very night before his death, the King was pleased to give me a legacy which was his gold toothpicker and case that he kept in his pocket. And this silver cup dating from 1630 was used to give Charles his last communion before he was beheaded. The engraving tells us that Charles received the communion in this bowl being the day on which he was murdered. All of these were part of the collection of the Dukes of Portland, now displayed at the Harley Foundation in North Nottinghamshire. The Portlands were a pretty wealthy bunch, so over the years they gathered vast amounts of art and quirky historic objects. This is a real treasure trove to come and visit, and all of it is totally free. There are some magnificent Tudor and Jacobean portraits here. I love the one of Lady Margaret Stuart, who is the Countess of Nottingham. It was painted around 1620, and she's wearing this dress with an outrageously plunging neckline. It it was quite a popular style at the time, in the style of Queen Anne of Denmark, the wife of King James I of England and VI of Scotland. And it's really revealing her power and status and, well, quite a lot of skin. But what about this one of Bess of Hardwick, who, after marrying four wealthy husbands, became one of the richest women in Elizabethan England. This shows Bess in later life, a powerful elderly woman draped in pearls. When the sixth Duke of Portland showed this to one of his American guests, they remarked, she didn't do too badly, four ropes of pearls, one for each husband, I suppose. But they've also got works from the Italian Renaissance here, including the Madonna of Silence, one of Michelangelo's presentation drawings. There's a great collection of silver, tapestries, paintings and jewelry. So I'd really recommend a visit to the Harley Foundation all of this, incredibly, is completely free to visit. So, if you're in Nottinghamshire, what are you waiting for?